2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the WNBA. Welcome everyone. This is the WNBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Washington Mystics as they go up against the Connecticut Sun. Joined by Brian Banafatemi and Tim Swartz. I'm Blake Suniga, and we are so glad you've joined us tonight. So the Sun win the tip. Here's Thomas. No good. Alina Della Don with a defensive effort. Down low. Out of bounds, it'll be Sun Ball. Now here's Thomas. Pass to Holmes. No good that time. And Washington will go the other way with it. Here's Tolliver. And it's Christy Tolliver with a jam. Not a flashy passer per se, but Misamun can move the ball well and locate her open teammates. About a minute into this first quarter. Knocked loose. Out of bounds. It'll be Mystic's ball. with the ball. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Misamun. One up, one down. Two points with her first shot in this game. A professor in physicality. Misamun will always give you her best effort. It's stolen by Tolliver. And here's Deladon. To the middle. Atkins. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. Hard to get that shot off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for her, especially down low in the post. That's a big challenge she's taken on. Going in there with the bigs, great job. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Della Don, she's covered by Thomas. Della Don gets the bucket. And now we see them really working it inside. Yeah, getting quality looks around the rim. That's fueling this run. Now here's Strickland. And here's Thomas. To the paint. To the inside. Strickland with the bucket. Now the seal is broken. Maybe their shooting will start to improve. Yeah, that had not been the way they wanted this game to get going for them. And not the way we want to see. We want to see more offense. Misamon with it, guarded by Jones, and Misamon gets it to go. So they're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. Here's Thomas, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. I know it's fun to sit back and enjoy watching her operate, and guess what? That's what the D was doing too, just sitting back and watching. Have to be more active. Now here's Tolliver. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Now Thomas. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Mystics. Pass to Misamun. And she gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Now here's Thomas. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Clock at six. They get it again. The Mystics leading. Deladon outside. Soft touch off the glass. 
They keep going down low with the ball, and it keeps resulting in points. Extremely positive. I mean, that's a very nice lead to have this early in the ball game. They've come out on fire out of the gates. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. The Mystics on top, leading by 10. Quarter number two. And for the Mystics, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? It's simple. Not much has gone wrong for them offensively. Very few bumps in the road as uh, it's been an easy ride for them. Now here's Cloud. She's guarded by Williams. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Misaman. She makes another one. That's four up and four in to start her game. I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. That might make the defense even worse, but, but that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed from right around the rim. Here's Clarendon. Clarendon, great positioning on the putback. Give her credit, she was in perfect position to grab that rebound and get the putback. Pass to Misaman. Over to the wing. Right side, Tolliver. Got a piece of it! Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Clarendon, that's good. The height difference there was huge, but she canceled it out with great body control in the air. That body control right there is essential. If you're giving up a bunch of height on flat ground, then you better be good in the air. And be able to adjust in the air, too. Great job spotting her teammate near the bucket and firing the pass in there. Right side, Williams. A baseline J. That's good, and it's Asia Clarendon with the assist. After starting the game off pretty slow, they've really come to life here. Yeah, they're putting it together. Still trailing, though, but their offense, it's gaining some traction. Washington calls timeout. Big group substitution here for Washington. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Elena Deladon for three. Connects from three-point range. Calm and collected. A player like Deladon's a threat to score the rock whenever she crosses half court. Uh, I mean, how about that pull-up jumper? Outside Williams. Misses off the right iron. That's one she knows she should have drained. Inside. Leslie shot is good. They're scoring, not, not car loads, not van loads, boat loads, big boat loads of buckets at the rim today. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get that ball in close time after time. Floats one. Phantom, no good. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Basket good. They're doing a terrific job of getting the ball inside, attacking the paint. That's an area, and it's a key area on the court that they've controlled. Yeah, once they identified what an edge they had inside, they just continued to attack. Deladon brings the double team. They're fighting for possession, and that's going to be a jump ball. And Connecticut has possession. Pass to Bantam. Clarendon. They need this. And it's good on the land. He's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. And trying to add a few more points to their lead. And it's not rocket science at this point. Just stay with what you've been doing. Here's Deladon. Here's Sanders. Shoots from the right block. Della Don gets the bucket. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, 
but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. To the inside, here's Blazons. And it's gonna be two free throws, drew contact on the shot. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. And that one misses. So both teams making some changes here. And the second free throw, good. And just over three and a half minutes played in this second quarter. Pass to Leslie. Seventeen foot shot on the way, and Washington again with the bucket. Starting to pull away here. They're putting some points up. Yeah, this one's threatening to get out of hand pretty soon. Here's Thomas. Here's Holmes. And again, Connecticut no good. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Mystics ahead, up by sixteen. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. have to like what we're seeing from Misamon. Sheer dominance in the post by her so far. Just tearing them to shreds when she gets the ball inside. And getting it to her is the only hard part because once she's got the rock, she's automatic. And Washington has possession. 16 point lead, the largest margin of the game. Back to Deladon, stolen by Jones. Down low, here's Thomas. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Tolliver with the ball. Pass to Deladon. Good for the fifth time in five shots. She remains perfect. Their interior defense has been dismal. They're losing the battle in the paint. Here's Holmes. Back to Thomas. And she banks in the layup. Well executed possession and a well controlled shot. And here's Tolliver. Second half just getting started, about a minute play. From the baseline, he squares up and sinks it. Well, with a developed scores mentality, Tolliver's the kind of player that every single coach in the league wants on their team. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds, Sun Ball as Connecticut keeps possession. Here's Jones. Outside for Thomas. Pass to Holmes. Now Strickland. Thomas right side. From downtown. Second chance shot, and the layup is good. Yeah, just a force on the glass, mainly because of a good combination. It's easy to tell that. Here's Strickland. The basket good off the assist from Jonquel Jones. 
And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Deladon right side. Heinz Allen. Back to Deladon. Good on the shot. An injury has never deterred Deladon from her goal of scoring buckets and winning games. So why would a little contact? First trip to the free throw line for her tonight. The Elena Deladon story, it's just so interesting. She played volleyball in her first year in college, went to tiny Delaware over powerhouse Connecticut, a one-of-a-kind star. To the paint, and finished off by Jonquel Jones. She didn't do anything fancy there, didn't mean to. Nope, her only concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I don't mean style points. Still, there was some style there, Blake. It was a pretty sweet one-handed flush. Well, it's a good thing she showed up today because without her, they'd be in deeper trouble. Pass to Deladon. It's intercepted. Deflected. Clarendon with it. Guarded now by Tolliver. Thomas, good. They've raised their field goal percentage just above 50% here, and to me, they look like a totally different team. Right side, Sanders. Della Don, left side. Shoots over Thomas. Della Don gets the bucket. Mentally tough when you need to be. Della Don's unwavering ability to score, despite a great contest, is really what I'm most impressed with there. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. To the middle. Stolen by Jones. They've got the five on three advantage. Here's Thomas, lays it up and banks it in. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of the last 10 points have been assisted on. Some great passing. They keep on finding the open teammate. Good ball movement. Oliver, she's covered by Thomas. Della Don, nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Thomas, good. Well, because of Thomas's commitment to improvement, she's advanced herself well in the WNBA. Here's Della Don, knocked it down right at the buzzer. That's a shot she'll never forget, as dramatic as they come. Showing everyone she's got that knack for the big man. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Mystics ahead. They lead by 12. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And we're getting underway in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things can change. Pass to Jones. Williams. Fires from the line. Kept alive. Blazons gets the bucket. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. And she gets it to go as they call the foul. She's on her way to the line for one more. Yeah, I've heard some say that Atkins has arrived ahead of schedule in this league. And I would say that her refined and radiant mentality is pretty rare for players her age. And so here's Connecticut. It's a 13-point game. Jones outside. Buries it down low. A rugged competitor who never fears a challenge. Jones can finish despite contact. Pass to Misaman. Stolen by Jones. One minute in now to the fourth quarter. Outside Clarendon. Here's Plaisons. That's good, and it's Leisha Clarendon with the assist. And guys, they've allowed an embarrassing amount of points. 
just off turnovers. Well, you can't get back on defense with any kind of numbers after fumbling it away yeah, like that. The offense and defense, they're connected in basketball. Absolutely. And she drops in the layup off glass. Good defense leads to offense, and that's what we're seeing here with all these points off of turnovers. It's one thing to force turnovers, but it's another to make teams pay, and that's what they've done. Hawkins left side. Back to Misaman. Knocked away. Fades and shoots, and they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. So both teams changing it up here. The Sun trailing. Outside Clarendon. Jones. And she uses the glass on the layup. A great feel for when the team needs a big play. Jones is a timely and dependable scorer. Pass to Heinz Allen. Atkins, he's covered by Strickland. Now Tolliver. Thomas with the steal. Alicia Clarendon attacking. It's good as five others before it were. He's now shooting six for seven. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and get back into this game. And it was their defense, just as much as their offense, that served as the catalyst and allowed them to put this run together. What a display. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Elena Della Don. Well, she's making like every shot, right? That's what it feels like. She's been unfazed by anything the defense has thrown at her. Such an advantage to this offense to have someone so reliable. Stolen. Down low, Jones. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. The shot finally dropping for them in bunches, and the complexion of this game has changed. That was the only thing that could have brought them back in this game. Everything had to start falling. Boy, have they gotten hot. Deladon, good. Another big time play by Deladon. She's who this team looks for in big, big spots. And the Sun call time here. Outside Clarendon. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Here's Jones. She can't hit that time. So the Mystics will take it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Deladon outside. Outside Tolliver. And stolen by Clarendon. Jones. It's good! And that shot brings them within just one. I love Jones's demeanor in clutch situations because she doesn't fear potential mistakes and just lets her game do the talking. It's intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Well, they need every bucket they can get here. They're still alive, but they better execute every trip down the floor or their chances aren't looking too good. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Misses off the left iron. And they foul intentionally, and they're going to have to do it again. They're not in the penalty yet. And that's just what they have to do in order to, to get that ball back. Yeah, to me, that's a good foul. Clock management, crucial at this time of the game. She doesn't hit the first, and that was one they really wanted. She's got one more, though. Becoming the first active WNBA player to serve on an NBA coaching staff, Tolliver is a pioneer. They need a quick bucket here. This is big. Shakina Strickland for three. Outside Clarendon. Here's Holmes. 
And again, Connecticut no good. And here's Ariel Atkins outside. It's off. So it's the Mystics taking the W in what was a close one. 